Well, I didn't, didn't need any advice about the options for prostate cancer because that was my specialty area. I love working with prostate cancer patients. That's one of, the highlight of my, one of the highlights of my professional career, to work with prostate cancer patients and advise them on what to do. Dr. Feller, I think, understood that, and, and so did Dr. Hers. And they basically left the decision for treatment up to me. Well, after I saw that my PSA <clears throat> was as high as eight, I, I knew that I had to do something. Dr. Feller did an MRI and found some imaging abnormalities, after which he performed a biopsy under MRI guidance. In a few days, I learned that I had prostate cancer. And it was not a garden variety type of prostate cancer. This was a clinically very significant prostate cancer with some risk for spread to lymph nodes, if not elsewhere. Surgery was never an option for me. And because I'd seen so many patients post-operatively, I knew that I didn't want any of those side effects. So that further convinced me that the laser therapy was the way for me to go. I think must have lasted well over an hour, if not an hour and a half. And so that was a, a little long and I was greatly relieved when it was over. It was never very uncomfortable, I would say minimally painful. Compared to a radical prostatectomy, of course, this was essentially nothing. <laughs> uh, prostatectomies can last for hours. And if they're open procedures, that is not done with a robot, uh, there can be serious blood loss as well. And the recovery time is, is much, much longer. I think after the procedure, I went for a jog. That's typically what I would do. So that's how much it affected me. After the procedure, I was totally normal. In terms of side effects, I don't have any. Uh, my urinary function actually improved after I had the procedure, after the first week or so had passed. I'm very pleased with my quality of life as well, and especially encouraged by my now hopeful long-term prognosis and I would have to rate the experience extremely high and uh, very quickly would do it over again if I had to. Don't just uh, take the advice of the urologist to go into a radical prostatectomy within the next week, which is the advice that's typically offered. I'm very grateful to Dr. John Feller at Halo Diagnostics as well as Bernadette Greenwood. They are both uh, wonderful human beings and they're at the very top of their specialty and I can only hope that many more patients will have the pleasure of encountering them.